So here is the cranberry lemon loaf recipe. It sounds complicated, but it's really easy, really simple to make. So we have the one egg, the two egg whites. I have the three tablespoons of the white sugar, or of course sugar substitute, the yogurt, half a cup, my applesauce. Then I have the vanilla. I have the fresh squeezed lemon juice, the lemon zest, the flour, one and a half cups of that, the baking powder, baking soda. Then I have the confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. For the icing, I have the star of the show, the cranberries. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do, besides setting the oven to 375, and spraying your pan is you're going to whisk the egg, the egg whites, the, the two egg whites, and the three tablespoons of the white sugar or the sugar substitute. Now that it's mixed, it's time to add in the other necessary ingredients. We're going to go ahead and add the rest of the wet ingredients and that would be the half a cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt and we're going to mix that together and then when I'm done mixing that one in, I'm going to go ahead and add the little cup of the unsweetened applesauce that I had on the side and then when I do that one, then I'm going to add the teaspoon of vanilla, mix it a little bit. And then I'm also going to add that two tablespoons of the fresh squeezed lemon. And that will complete all of the wet ingredients that's needed. And then we're going to go ahead and add the dry ingredients on top of that. So for the dry ingredients, I have that teaspoon of baking powder, the teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add that lemon zest, that one and a half of the lemon zest. And of course, last but not least, the flour. And the flour is one and a half cups of flour. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it and eventually change my uh, whisk into a spatula when it's all incorporated together. And this is what it looks like before I add the cranberries. Okay, so what I did was I had already uh, washed the cranberries, dried them a little bit, and I'm just going to add it to the bowl and we're just going to fold the cranberries in. Not exactly mixing it, just folding it. And as you can see in a second, it's just basically going around the bowl and just literally like a folding method, just fold it in. And now it's going to go into the pan. Okay, so here's the pan that's already been prepared. It's been sprayed. And so we're just going to put the mix into the pan. And as you can see, each time that the mix goes into the pan, that's all you're seeing is cranberries in every section. So that's good. Our folding method was great. So now we're gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna be in the oven for uh, 40 minutes. And when it comes out, it's going to look delicious. So this is one last look before it gets baked. So it's almost done baking. So we're going to go ahead and start on the icing and it's three tablespoons of the confectioner sugar, the icing sugar, 
or the powdered sugar, whatever you want to call it. I added the two teaspoons of lemon juice to it, the powdered sugar. So before I mix it, I'm going to go ahead and add some lemon zest to it because the loaf has it already, but I want to add it to the icing itself. And it's not a whole lot of lemon zest I'm adding. I basically just uh, used up a half a lemon and just zest is just that piece alone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together, set it aside and cover and wait for the loaf to finish. I just took it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. There's the top view, there's the bottom view. You can see all the cranberries inside of it. So I can't wait for it to cool so we can do the frosting. So the icing is just for the top alone. So that's what we're going to do. We're just gonna pour it over the top and we're going to smooth it over with the knife. And that's what it looks like. Hope you enjoy.